gonna be showing you guys how to make an intro in After Effects. So a few months ago, or about a year ago, I've made a tutorial on how to make an intro, but since then I've changed a lot, I think. Or at least that's what you guys are t telling me. And a lot of people told me to make a new tutorial because the other one was outdated, so I decided why not make it for 2K special. So yeah. So as you can see, I've already made our beats. I've already marked the beats. Um, also animated this a little bit. It might look complicated, but it's not really complicated. You can figure out, figure it out by yourself. Anyways, this video will can be covering. So start off by making and make text and name background text or whatever you wanna call it. I don't really care. And Anyways, um, you're gonna put your name in, so I'm just gonna put name, and I'm gonna choose cartoonist, or yeah, I guess cartoonist. That's pretty. That's pretty cool. It's a cool font. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger, cause why not? Alright, so I'm gonna make like sort of a blue colored thingy. I don't know. So I'm gonna add a gradient ramp to the text. I'm gonna swap the colors and just make it white. That looks pretty nice. Actually, let me make it blue here. Next job, you're gonna add inner shadow. With the inner shadow, I'm just gonna make the opacity 25%, distance 10. And the size zero. Okay, so add a stroke. And the stroke I'm gonna make blue colored. Guys, that's cool. And then to make the text more pop out, I'm gonna duplicate this. And I'm gonna get rid of the layers. So it's actually, you know, I'm gonna get rid of this stroke. And then I'm gonna add drop shadow like so, maybe seven. And yeah, that looks pretty okay. Go down to setup, make it 30. Click repeat. Go into the repeater, make the offset like 0.7 or something. You can just play around with the settings. These are like my personal settings, or at least what I do, what I use sometimes. And once you've got your little extrusion, I'm gonna add an adjustment layer with hue and saturation. Make the master lightness minus 25, so the extrusion looks darker. It's pretty cool. Now we wanna pre-compose it. this composition you can add something like see see light sweep see light sweep looks nice um see these are kind of my settings 4000 bit zero sweep intensity 400 edge intensity and 3.5 edge thickness so it looks something like this we comp again and add warp and maybe make this like 20 or something so it looks like that now I think that's that's about for the text obviously you can textify if you want but I'm too lazy okay now let's work with the background so for the background I'm just gonna make a new composition call it BG make a new solid um, I'm gonna make a, a blue colored one, something like that. Then I'm gonna make a darker version of it, like so. And maybe you can add Venetian blinds. Sometimes it looks amazing. And then I'm gonna add CC reptile so I can animate it. You see these kind of 
something weird. Let's zoom in on it. Oh, that looks bad. So you can just play around with it. 97 looks good. I'm gonna animate this real quick. Okay, now let's make particles. Make a black solid. Add particular. Um. Okay. Let's so just put the position like down about there. Like maybe. Oh, that's way too low. Um, velocity thousand. Particles. Sphere. Feather. Zero size. 100 size random 50 random from gradient make sure the set color is random from gradient and good color over life choose this preset and then uh, over here I'm gonna make it blue it was like cyan and then make this dark gray so it looks pretty nice what I like to do is pre-com that, duplicate it, go to the layer under it, and just click the arrow down, and then the arrow right, arrow down, arrow right, arrow run, arrow right, arrow left, <laughs> like a couple of times, like maybe like that, and then add hue and saturation, make the master lightness minus 25, and add Venetian blinds that is not Venetian blinds what just happened make the transition completion 50 direction 45 so it has like this cool looking coolness now you can add a drop shadow just pre-comp it again Click Control Alt T on your keyboard and then go to the time remap. Kind of make it so all like the entire screen is filled with particles. So, so sometimes I'll also like to sort of make lines type of thing. So sometimes I just go from there to there make it like 100 and then I'm gonna duplicate it and then put it there make it 50 or something and I'm gonna duplicate it put it there and then 200 I don't know why I erased my voice there shouldn't have done that oh wrong button what the heck happened where did my text taskbar go? That doesn't look too pleasing, but I guess that's what I have to work with today. Okay, I'm just gonna make this 150 because 200 is a bit too much, I think. Make it, I like to make it overlay and put it like that. So, looks cool. So, let's make the shape. Gonna make this zero. This one zero or ten eighty. And then I'm gonna go to size, go to one second, and then make it so it goes like that. I like to animate the stroke width from 100 to 200. Now I'm gonna add mirror. So it makes something like that. Um, this one I'm gonna make like a really light version of blue. And then this one gonna make it dark gray once again so when you go like one two 
three frames one two three so it kind of does that maybe five why not yeah now you can add venetian blinds if you want to now i'm going to add echo that is not echo and then go to like that frame over there just hold control and bring it down like so and then go to the end and just pull this up like that so we, we can see that pre it again time remap it so it is in the screen add drop shadow this is how it looks like. Whoa!